and Muhammad. I have to also be proudly sponsored by Everlast, the Sheffield crowd. Unbelievable tonight. Really good. I mean, it was a next-gen show, Umar. So, you know, normally we're smaller venues, but Dalton Smith, they came out for him tonight, and they understand their boxing. This kid is very, very special. And uh, I believe he's going to go all the way. I really do. Is he one of the best talents in British boxing? I think so. I mean, it was so precise, wasn't it? It was faultless. I was a bit, you know, jump on him, knock him out after three rounds. But he took his time. The finish was brutal, clinical, everything it needs to be. And like I said, this kid's a real talent. Sam and Mason, a perfect fight and test yeah, and listen, fair play to him because you need a dance partner to come out on a show like this, you know, and, and uh, become a star. And like I said, Kelbrook retired, obviously Naz and Johnny and all those guys. We need someone to fill this arena. It's a great arena. You know, we had nearly 5,000 in tonight, which is you know, for a British title fight, amazing. This kid can go on six, seven, nine, fill it up, and uh, he'll be in all the big fights. A lot of people, especially casuals, might have thought Sam and Mason was a bit negative tonight, but he was clearly wary of Dalton yeah. coming back at him. I think him. as well, it's a big occasion, you know, and the problem is, is Sam and Mason's British level, and Dalton, Dalton's probably already world fringe level, fringe world level. So he was, he was well out of his depth, but he deserved to fight for the British title, but Dalton was it's just, Dalton's a million levels above British title, and uh, I think he'll he probably maybe defend it once, move on to European, and, and then I want him on all those big fights in 2023. Okay, thoughts on Sandy Ryan? Great performance, you know, I think she deserves a lot of credit. You know, you saw the shape she got in, she's been through some dark places, you know, she came through adversity to win that fight, she wanted to take the rematch, she deserved the win, and now she moves on to big fights. Okay, uh, Jordan Thompson, really good sort of start and mid Nine the fight, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. at the end. It just, you know, it, it, was, it, it was too easy for him, and he switched off and he got caught, and when you get caught in that division, you're going to get hurt. He got hurt at the end of the ninth round, he done well to get up, at the 10th, you know, when he got to seven, I thought, all right, get up, and the bell had already gone. So he learned more tonight than he'd learned in his previous 13 fights. And he's a very good fighter, good learning fight for him. He's going to be a big threat to the, the, the uh, you know, certainly the domestic scene and beyond. Thoughts on uh, Campbell Hatton? Campbell Hatton boxed well, you know, a very experienced opponent. I think he'd had 50 odd fights. He'd won these last, I think, nine out of 10. Um, and just learning for Campbell Hatton, improving all the time. I thought Johnny Fisher was great. I thought Rising was lively. I mean, a uh, big right hand that, that ironed him out. Uh, Janae Boston, superstar in the making. Nico Lever's a, a little bit unlucky oh, with, yeah. what with was the going on there? technical draw as a clash of heads. Um, good win from Aki Fiaz, looked good. Hopey Price, great performance, time to move on. And, you know, really good show. Okay. What did you think of uh, the whole situation with Don King and Daniel Dubois? I mean, look, I, firstly, you never let a fighter go on a Don King show unless the money's guaranteed. But saying that, and, you know, not to sort of stand up for me old mate Frank obviously it was a purse bid and sometimes you can't ensure that the money is uh, is held in escrow or whatever it may be so I, I would never feel comfortable going into a fight with certain promoters because you just don't know whether you're going to get paid or not and people don't understand that about boxing you know and I know we blow our own trumpet but you speak to anybody about Matra you get paid on the dot every time and, and we've, we've been that way for years and years and in, in other promotional companies you don't, you know, not just Don King, many others, and it goes on all the time. This one just happens, so happens to be public. And whether he gets paid or not, I doubt it, I don't know, I have no idea, but he's not my fighter. He's not my fighter to protect. All fighters' purses should always be protected in the right way. Clearly it wasn't this time. Whose fault it was, I don't know, but hopefully he gets his money. Don reckons he's never done a fighter over before. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> um, but so do other people, you know, other people say that as well. See uh, Fury's video today? On the best heavyweight in the world. Yeah, listen, because obviously Andy Joshua's fighting in a couple of weeks, so he's going to start piping up again. But look, all, all eyes now on uh, obviously AJ um, in Saudi in, in two weeks tonight. Unbelievable how quickly it's gone around. So, little week this week of us locking in all our schedule for September, October, November, and then off, off to Saudi to see AJ do the business. When are we going to get this Eubank Ben press off? Well, you know, I said, I, I keep saying uh, in my life, to Coogan and stuff like that. Yeah. on that fight this this fight was announced by other people other than myself and Callie Sowland so we want to make that fight Connor Ben's up for that fight Chris Eubanks obviously 
reviewing that fight and uh, you know we'll see what happens over the next few days. Talk to Lee Wood tonight. Yeah, Lee Wood, obviously his fight looks like September 24th and uh, looking to lock that in. Mauricio Lara is a fight we'd love to make. We'll see what happens. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. That industry gets a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. There's five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness App and find your greatness within.